Hi, it's Heather from Done For You Recipes, and this is the gingerbread chocolate charcuterie board, and it is three recipes in one. And the reason you need three recipes is the first one is the gingerbread cookie recipe. Second is the fondant recipe that you're going to make from scratch. And these are the decorations that are glued to the cookies. And they u- to use the glue, it's the icing. So three recipes in one. Okay, then. So first up, you'd need to make the cookies because these take up a little bit of time. And I actually use whole cloves, but you don't need to. I like to grind mine in a p- mortar and pestle. Uh, once the dough is made, you need to take that out and knead it and just so that it becomes um, a little more um, cohesive. And then you're going to break it into two pieces, flatten it out, and pop it in the fridge. You're going to wrap it up in plastic, preferably leave it in the fridge. If not two hours, then overnight even better because those spices will become bigger and bolder. And that's the idea is to have a two bite-sized cookie with big flavors. You can see here, this is one of the pieces, this is half the recipe that is rolled out on a silpat mat, and I've got my shapes ready to go. And when I use the shapes, you can see that the dough is so dense and wonderful that it doesn't fall apart, even for the most delicate, which is those crosses of shapes. So it holds itself really well. And then you can see this is the fondant and I've cut out the shapes, made the fondant first and then cut out the shapes. I've added colors to it and then I've made as breeches. And you can see that you glue that on with the icing as well as then you glue on the sprinkles. And for these marshmallow shapes, I've used edible ink so you can eat those as well. And I've dipped their ends into um, icing and then sprinkles to give it a little bit of a hairdo. Small shapes so that you can pop them in your mouth. And you can see if you do candy canes, you can hang them on a bowl of chocolate-coated almonds or yogurt-coated raisins, and you can decorate it with the cookies, and uh, it looks fabulous. As well, it looks great with Christmas decorations. And lots of different shapes for different variety, lots of colors, so that there's lots of variety. And I hope you enjoy this recipe. Get your skin three in one. And you have plenty of time to make these in time for the festive season. And I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, please reach out.